Ladies and gentlemen, my name's Paul. Hopefully having an amazing day. I want to kick this video off with a very interesting leaked image which has emerged from what appears to be an Indonesian event which AMD were attending or hosting. It's kind of difficult to say. Either way, it is of a desktop roadmap for the company and basically tells us products for 2022 and 2023. Though I have a couple of additional bits of information that I'm going to be going through uh, from a couple of my sources that I'll add into this to maybe fill in the blanks if you will. Let's start with the most obvious one first, the top one, Threadripper 5000. I don't really need to give you guys too much information about that. The products are out and, well, it's Threadripper 5000. You'll notice though that the termination point is mid-2023. We'll get into why and the follow-up in just a moment, but the next one which is causing a lot of confusion online, I've actually had several people message me about this, and that's Ryzen 5000 and X3D. Now notice the green box, quote-unquote, actually extends through 2023, and this has led to some speculation like, does that mean that there's additional X3D processors which are going to be released? As that was a rumor, I think it was Grayman who started that rumor, I'm not 100%, but basically that we were going to see higher core count SKUs, or maybe a 6-core X3D processor or what have you, and I've got to tell you guys, I don't think that's what's happening. To my personal knowledge, from what I've been told, there are no additional like X3D processors or anything else. There may be like ultra low processors or whatever, CPUs that I don't think the majority are gonna be bothered in. But um, ultimately speaking, what we're looking at here is essentially AMD continuing their promise that AM4 is going to basically be their cheaper entry level platform. And I say entry level in a very loose way, I mean, I personally think something like a, you know, 5600X is still really good for a good gaming processor paired with a cheap motherboard and some okay-ish DDR4 memory. And the 5800X3D at the moment is a steal. I'm not going to go too much into the argument of, like, platforms, though, uh, you know, uh, X, uh, 5800X3D versus Zen 4 in this video, but that's kind of a minefield. Notice then Ryzen 7000, and they have actually pretty much confirmed the X3D chips. Now I've got to say this is not surprising, AMD have alluded to this in the past. Now what isn't certain at this point from this roadmap is the core count. Now I've personally heard six cores off the table for Zen 4 X3D. The latest information I've received is basically eight, unsurprising, 12 and 16 cores. And I've heard that the release date is going to be early next year. Now, notice, though, this still states TBA to be announced. So, obviously, the details, AMD are still playing quite close to their chest. I have preliminary pricing information. I have a little hesitant to mention the prices because prices can be changed last minute. But basically, I've heard 850 to 899 US dollars for the 16 core. I will stress, though, this is going to depend a lot on market conditions. Things are so screwed up at the moment, and we all know what's going on in the world, so I'm not going to you know, depress everyone about that, but we all know what's going on, so prices could literally change up until the last second. We're talking about a product which is not even close to release. We're talking months in the future, but at the moment, I've heard 899 at the top end is what AMD are aiming for, which honestly is much cheaper than I expected, let alone the 849 US dollars. Um, anyway, next is Zen 4000G and 5000G. Again, I don't really need to explain that. These are products which are already out. So what about the two cutoff ones? Well, the first one is the 7000 series Threadripper processors. And the other one is AMD's Phoenix Point. So obviously the Threadripper ones, that would be at the very top. And then obviously the Phoenix Point, that would be at the bottom. Interestingly too, this coincides with a very nice leak. Um, I'm getting this information from um, video, um, WCCF Tech, excuse me. But it has been initially discovered by Bench Leaks on Twitter. Basically, here we have a Fred Ripper 7000 series processor. This is 64 cores. Um, so these are obviously Zen 4 based CPUs. Um, so that's 64 cores, 128 threads. It's still based on 5nm Zen 4. There's nothing really architecturally different here. 
there's not a huge amount I want to add to this because I do have some um, kind of bits and pieces regarding Threadripper and some other processors, which I, basically I've been a little behind on my production schedule. It's one of the reasons that uh, I wasn't on camera for the NVIDIA video a few days ago. I basically absolutely battered uh, with a cold. Like, I was absolutely just like, okay, I'm, like, I could feel rigor mortis setting in, as uh, WWE's Undertaker would say. But, um, one other thing I would like to tackle, actually, and that is that, well, Intel have been doing a lot of announcements of late. We actually have ARC pricing for the A770, for example, and I think it's a pretty good price. We're looking at 349 US dollars to 329 US dollars, depending. Um, the ARC A A750 is 289 US dollars. Ultimately, of course, we're going to have to wait for the reviews and all of that stuff to come out and see how well it actually performs. And Intel have also confirmed many details of its 13th generation processors, although, honestly, most of that stuff had already leaked. But there was a very interesting thing which popped up on Tom'sHardware.com, and this is basically a 34 core, which is an intriguing number of cores, uh, Raptor Lake processor. This is well to say processor is a is a struggle. It's essentially what we're looking at here is well just basically a wafer. Um, but I think also this was covered by. Um, Tech Tech Potato, uh, Ian Cutress as well. So I want to give credit there. Now, basically speaking, there's not a whole amount that Intel have revealed about this. It's literally there's a label which says 34 core, but no real details about it. So the cores essentially could be anything. They could have glued together Pentium 4 chips, technically speaking. But most likely, this is based on Sapphire Rapids, which has already been uh rumored but there's no details at all like you can kind of see a few hints that this is not like you know a traditional d desktop processor it looks more like it's a mesh design processor but again we can't see too much detail it does look like essentially it's you know performance cores um 34 cores but there's no details on the socket if i had to guess and this is speculative this is not based upon leaks this is not based on you know, what I've been told under the table. It doesn't look like these cores would fit into an LGA 1700 socket. Um, but, you know, it's kind of difficult to tell because ultimately, A, I'm not holding it, and B, Intel are not saying anything. I did reach out to a couple of people at Intel and they basically just told me, uh, -uh no, no comment for now. So, um, yeah, I suppose we'll just have to wait on this. I mean, I would I would love this to go into an LGA seventeen hundred socket motherboard. Like I think that would be, uh, I think I think it would be spiffy. I think it would be absolutely freaking hilarious. I don't think it's going to be possible for a plethora of reasons. I would love it, but I don't think it's going to be. I don't think it's going to be a thing. Like I would I would I actually I would I'd just like I'd probably just cry with laughter. It would be absolutely freaking amazing if, if Intel could do that because they'd they'd basically be able to say that they over doubled the core count, um, technically speaking, over Zen 4. That would be pretty funny. But um, I don't think it's going to be possible. I think this is going to be for like a, you know, basically at best a workstation type of board to compete with Threadripper. But how a 34 core chip is going to compete with something like Fred Ripper or AMD's Epic processors, I have absolutely no idea. So, as always with this stuff, you know, file it under, that's nice, but we'll see how it all goes. With that said, take care of yourselves, have an amazing day, bye for now.